Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3 Part 56. And in this segment, I'm going to attempt to use my Lamborghini Reventon that I recently got. Keyword attempt. Because its PI is kind of low for the last, at least for now, amateur event since, you know. Yeah. Anyways, it's, it's V12s. 12 cylinder flagship trophy, etc., etc. So here's the uh, entry list. Without upgrades, your current car will not be competitive for this. Yes, event. yes, I know. I'm gonna try anyways, games. Fuck off, so. Here's our here, here here we go. Let's hope for the best. Also, um, here's our first visit ever in LP form to uh the Bugatti circuit of the Circuit de la Sarthe. AKA the track that the motorcycles use when they race here. Heck yeah. It's a pretty interesting uh, circuit. I like it. I wish it was in more games. Because everyone, like, every game has the fucking, you know, full of mall circuit. But they never have the Bugatti circuit. So. Poop. Oh well. So, here's the starting grid. I'm starting 6th, apparently. Okay. I'm, I'm a little confused on how this fucking game grids. I, I don't know. Okay, let's try this again and not go flying off the track this time. Now that I'm more acquainted with this track and relearned it a bit, since it has been a few years since I've, uh, been around this configuration of De Le Circuit de la Sarth. Hopefully I won't go flying into the gravel a million times and actually win. That'd be neat. So. Off we go. Of course immediately into the lead because four wheel drive, bro. Four-wheel drive is cool. It's also OP as hell in this game. And there's a lot of cars that you can do a fucking all-wheel drive conversion to, which makes them OP as hell. Even the Viper. I'm pretty sure there was a Vip Vap that was like best in S-Class because all-wheel drive. Can't remember if that was this game or for the four where that was uh, true. Could've been both, who knows. Hey, cool, dude. So, I got a couple chicanes here. Kind of reminds me of Magello. See, it's left, right, right, left, left, right. To the left, to the right, to the left, left to the right. Eerie. Okay, I just gotta take it easy, hold off Muller and his fucking Maserati. Easier said than done. But, you know. So Rossi is barely, uh, there's fighting with Evans in his... Let's see, Rossi's in the Diablo GTR, I think Evans is in the Mercedes CLK. So basically, Muller and Evans have probably the best cars, despite Rossi having the highest PI. So, hooray. I'm missing the turn. Holy shit. Ooh, a Kieran. Hello. Okay. We are okay, everything is fine. GT4's grip physics sucked ass. No. It was very understeery, but I didn't wouldn't say they sucked.
Okay. Few more corners and we win race one in my unmodified Reventon. Thanks, fuck. I still would like to, you know, make as money, much money as I can as quickly as I can so I can do the prototype thing as soon as possible. So I can get that fucking squared away. Because that'd be nice. Okay, there we go. Race one done. Took two tries. But we got it. Got it by 1.3. Well, actually 1.26, but still. And then there's Spears in the lone A-class car. Because Spears is fucking smart. I guess Spears just enjoys being the back marker or some shit. I don't know. Who knows? I sure don't. Alright. So, with that out of the way, we move on to race two in more uh, familiar places with some familiar faces ha ah, ah, ha ah, shut up me we're going to Sunset Peninsula Club ooh hmm this one might be a toughie I'm not sure I'm not sure at all yeah, Spears is the front row motorsports of Forza. Or BK Racing, remember that? I don't know, anyways. I'll, I'll probably be fine here, considering I'll get the four-wheel drive launch. Hey, Kaza. I'll get the four-wheel drive launch and into the lead, and then I can block. Or something like that. I don't know. So. Let's go. At the peninsula. Wonder where we're going to do the full circuit, because pretty much every fucking race has been around the short circuit, or the club circuit, excuse me. Also, I'm really glad I went to the outside there for turn one, because, uh, I was expecting Muller to slam on the brakes. Guess what he did? He slammed on the brakes. Go me. I actually made a smart evasive maneuver. Which really isn't the easiest thing to do in a big ass four wheel drive Lambo like this. Not gonna lie. But hey, I dude it. Oh wow, I'm actually out accelerating Rossi's Diablo. Okay. I'm telling you, man, four wheel drive's too strong. Got a better run. Reventon confirmed better than Diablo GTR, despite the uh, PI difference. Oh Christ, okay, I barely made that. Holy shit. Go me. Seen a yellow car? Oh no! I was late on the brakes. Okay, I need to brake a little before that shadow. Confirmed. Jesus Christ, that was a violent fucking transition. As far as like sound. I win the drag race. Suck me, Rossi. Okay, final lap. And we're going wide. Because wide, not. <laughs> Shut up, me. Okay. <laughs> My friend is the sound of axle damage, yeah. And yet, nothing. Probably for both me and Rossi. It's 
listen to that shit. Jesus Christ. Well. This car is better than expected. I think I should have expected good things because for will drive, yo. Aw, Rossi got the better lap than me. Damn it. Damn you! I wonder what happened to Evans. He ended up finishing fifth. Huh. And Miller. Hell, fucking Esposito and the other Reventon made it onto the podium. That just goes to show the, uh, op of the four wheel drive. Or all wheel drive. In this, uh, game. Oh yeah, that was a big yawn. Oh no. Oh boy. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is I'll you know have the four-wheel drive launch to help propel me to the front. Bad news is the track is extremely narrow, so I won't be probably I probably won't be able to take full advantage of the four-wheel drive launch. I don't know this is how this is has how it is this has a devised. Yeah. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know. Hashtag we're fucked, yeah, pretty much. Oh well, let's see how fucked we are. Hey. Mm. Excuse me, that was the worst time gone ever. Anyways, guess who didn't make it through the S's? Me. Let's try that again. This time better. Okay, go. Oh god, that was close. This is even harder in interior view. Why did I forget to do this at sunset? God damn it. Heck off, Evans. Your fucking Mercedes. So yeah, um, this is going to be a difficult race, so I should point that out. The cars are so much lighter, therefore they can, you know, throw their cars around the turn better. I have the power of the retard dive into the hairpin now. I got that piece of shit up my sleeve. Oh my god, hello, how you doing more? I'm just gonna, well, fail to bully my way around you. Okay, maybe not. Oops, he got stuck on the wall. Son of a bitch. Hooray. Anyways, about this, uh, these gauges, there's a lot happening here. There's a lot happening here. Between the tack and the speedo and the gear selector and shit. Rossi, you get your ass back here. I must defeat your Diablo. I must be the superior Lambo. Hell, there you are. Wasn't sure if he was alongside me or not. This is the full course. This is the full race course. The Amalfi Coast course. Don't worry, K boys. We'll get through uh, spoiler redacted soon. Okay, maybe not soon. Actually, not soon at all, but shut up. You'll see. Eventually.
Okay, so um, this is a very, very dirty win. I feel no pride from it. But it kind of had to be done. I don't know. Hello. Okay. Game froze for a moment. Oh, hey, Spears is ahead of Johansson. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Spears actually... Okay. Sure. I'll take it. Crazy bastard on the uh, level up. Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano. Oh. Oh, well then. It's an interesting uh prize. Hey, we won. Yay. So that's all the amateur events done sans the uh, prototype thing. Why do they have to have a prototype thing in the fucking amateur division? Anyways, here's our new car. It's a Ferrari. It's also very happy. Kind of has that crazy look. Like, a, it's the Joker Ferrari. Clearly. So. Hooray! We finished all the amateur events. Not counting this one. I'll get to it eventually. I swear. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, that's all the amateur events done. We've done 40 whole champion, actually 43. Well, actually 42, because of the thing, but shut up. Anyways. This game is making me miserable. Absolutely not. Anyways, we're going to start the uh, manufacturer section of this uh, game next, so... Yeah, we'll move on to that and start this column, which is the owner's meeting column, apparently. So, next time on Forza 3, the Integra owner's meeting. Stay tuned for that.